This is Steven Douglas. He is 5 foot 4. <laughs> this is Abraham Lincoln. He is 6 foot 4. <laughs> we are. Today is October 15th, 1858 in Alton, Illinois. Illinois. Illinois or Illinois? Illinois. Do it again. Ah! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Today is October 15th, 1858 in Alton, Illinois. So far you've heard from our Republican Congressman Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Mr. Abraham Lincoln. And Mr. Abraham Lincoln. And Mr. Abraham Lincoln. Who is advocating for the abolition of slavery and Mr. Stephen Douglas. Advocating for the people's right to vote for and against slavery in their individual territories. First we will be hearing from Douglas who will reference points made by Lincoln and by earlier speeches. Hello ladies and gentlemen. Over the course of the past four months, Congressman Lincoln has made various claims regarding states' rights and slavery. These egregious claims must be settled for the sake of protecting our individual God-given rights. In Lincoln's House Divided speech, he said, Sorry, there's hair in my mouth. Okay. I believe this government can't endure permanently half slave and half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall but I do expect it to cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all together. I believe these claims to be harmful to our current constitutional society. Abe here believes that it is up to the men in the White House to decide whether we are slave states or free states. This sentiment is in direct violation of the Constitution, erasing our identities. Compromise and equal representation are deeply seated in America's past and making each state follow the same rule is in opposition to the ideals of our founding fathers. Another idea Lincoln expressed in his speech was that the Constitution's phrase, all men are created equal, should apply to the Negro man as well as the white men. The Supreme Court has told Lincoln time and again that black men are property, not citizens. I feel that this requires no further clarification from me. Lastly, Lincoln took up issue with the Supreme Court's Dred Scott ruling based on his opinion on Negro citizenship. His sub stubborn rhetoric has caused more tension between states than ever before. Right. We will now hear from Lincoln, who will defend himself on those accounts mentioned by Senator Douglas. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and wait, wait, gentlemen is a hard word to say. <laughs> <that sound. laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I have been greatly complimented in Douglas' speech, but I posed a statement claiming that I had an issue in a Dred Scott case. I believe that this is a particular case that should have happened in the first place. It is interesting fact time. Did you know? Poor Abe lost all the debates. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. The fact that an individual possessed slaves in a free state goes against the Constitution and thus, the Supreme Court should not have ruled over it. It is to my understanding that all men were created equal. It wasn't until three years ago this right was brought into question. The only reason Douglas brought this concern into the light is because he believes it will benefit him. This issue directly interferes with the Constitution itself. If the Constitution states it is free for all, but only excludes Negro men, it might as well exclude white men. Regarding my House speech, I would like to point out that everything I said was accurate. Douglas is doing everything he can to cover up the fact that states are not happy. He continues to argue that the states are reaching happiness <laughs> okay. Okay. He continues to argue that the states are reaching happiness over the years, but the truth of the matter is, this promise has been left unfulfilled as predicted. Lincoln can keep denying the truth, but the fact of the matter is, he just wants to split up the Democratic Party so he can push his abolitionist agenda without an obstacle. Also, Lincoln has claimed numerous times to be a member of the Clay Whig Party. This claim is utterly nonsense. Lincoln voted against Henry Clay a number of times. Lincoln acts as a slavery is okay. Lincoln acts as if the slavery ordeal is the only thing in the way of world peace. What about nullification, huh? Or disunion? Four score and seven years ago. Hey, that's my line. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Our founding fathers came together with twelve state Our founding fathers came together with 12 slave colonies and one free. They did not push their ideals and let each colony exist with its own beliefs and practices. <laughs> Should I repeat that? 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's true. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just zoom in on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. I, okay. I will stand by our constitution and for my party in letting citizens decide what is right for themselves. Can I see what it looks like? <laughs>